Hello friends, in this video let us discuss about types of transformers used in power system networks. So let us initially know the definition of transformer. So a transformer can be defined as a static machine used for transforming power from one circuit to another circuit without changing any frequency using a magnetic path. So it is a static machine which is using a magnetic circuit it is used to transfer power from one circuit to another circuit without changing or without altering any frequency. So, the types of transformers can be categorized in different ways depending upon their use, depending upon their use, purpose, depending upon their use, purpose and construction, the transformer can be categorized in different types. So, let us move to the first type. So, the first type, let us discuss about the step up and step down transformers. The step up and step down transformers are used in power system transmission and distribution networks for stepping up or stepping down the voltage level of power in the power system network. So, basically, if I say uh, here I am having uh, let me say this is my iron core and uh, let me say this is my primary winding and uh, this is my secondary winding. So, if I say the more the number of turns here, the more the number of turns, let me indicate N1 and N2 and uh, the more the number of turns, the more the voltage and lesser is the current, the more, the less the number of turns, the less is the voltage and more is the current. So, by, by changing the number of turns, you can either step up or step down the voltage levels of power in a transmission distribution network. So, the second type you are having is the three phase transformer and a bank of single phase transformers. So, three phase and a bank of single phase transformers. So, the three phase transformers are used in three phase power system. So, but the three phase transformers are a, finds a bit difficulty in transportation as well as it is removed from the service entirely if any of the phase winding breaks down. So, where the size matters, you can go for the bank of a single phase transformer as it is, uh, uh, but the three phase transformer is more cost effective than the bank of single phase transformer, but it finds the problem a bit difficulty in transportation and it must be removed from service entirely if any of the phase winding breaks down. So, we have advantage and disadvantage where the size matters, you can go for a bank of single phase transformer, a single three phase transformer unit costs 15 percent around 15 percent less than a bank of three single phase transformers and it also occupies less space. So, the single three phase transformer unit occupies less space and it costs 15 percent less around the bank of single phase transformer. But when size matters, you can go for a bank of three single phase transformers and they can be erected separately to form a bank of three single phase transformers and the transportation can be easily easy for the bank of three single phase transformers. Now, let us move to the third type. The third type is the electrical power transformer, electrical power transformer, distribution transformer and instrument transformers. So, the power transformers are normally or generally used in transmission networks. They are generally used in transmission networks for stepping up or stepping down the voltage level of power. So, for the generation side, we as the generation at low voltage that is around 11 kV is cost effective or you can say economical as you can be, you can lessen or you can reduce your insulation cost, therefore 11 kV is economical, but for transmission, this low kV results in high line current which causes high I square R losses 
which causes high I square R losses and uh, the area of conductor also gets increased. So area of conductor should also be increased but one but once we step the voltage levels to very high voltage then we can reduce then it automatically results in less current that means reduction in the I square R losses and reduction in the area of conductor that means saving in the copper that means it is the capital cost can be saved and the voltage regulation can be performed well. So therefore the power transformers are used in transmission networks to step up or step down the voltage level of power and the distribution transformers are used for distribution purpose of stepping down the voltage level stepping down the voltage level for domestic and commercial purpose so the transmission line comes with a high voltage of uh, around 400 kV and the distribution transformers step down the primary distribution there are two types of uh, distribution and two types of uh, transmission primary transmission secondary transmission as well as primary distribution secondary distribution so the the primary distribution and the secondary distribution falls around some 33 kV for 33 kV 11 kV for industries and uh, we are around 230 volt or 600 volt for domestic purposes. So now the instrument transformers include the current transformer and potential or voltage transformer. So basically they are used for stepping down the high voltage they are used for stepping down the high voltage and current values uh, once the high voltage and current values are reduced to a less value they can be measured by conventional measuring instruments so that is the purpose of this current transformer and power transformer because in a power system network deals with the high voltage and current and the normal conventional or, or the normal measuring instruments may not measure this high voltage and current therefore these transformers instrument transformer are used for stepping down the high voltage and to reduce the current to a low value such that they can be measured by conventional measuring instruments now the fourth type is a two winding transformer and a auto transformer so the two winding transformer this is like a, this is your two winding transformer where you are having primary winding secondary winding the primary winding which is connected to the source side the secondary winding which is connected to the load side so a two winding transformer is generally used where the ratio of high voltage to low voltage is above 2 so where the ratio of high voltage and low voltage is greater than 2 the two winding transformer is used and where the ratio of high voltage and low voltage is less than 2 the auto transformer finds cost effective so the auto transformer circuit like look like look like this where where a single winding is shared by the primary as well as secondary so this is your primary and this is your secondary where a single winding is shared by the primary as well as the secondary so when the high volt ratio of high voltage and low voltage is less than 2 the auto transformer is cost effective than the two winding transformer now the fifth one is the fifth one is oil cooled oil cooled and dry air type so in oil cooled transformers the cooling media is transformer oil and uh, the dry air type the cooling media is air so based on the cooling media also they are classified into two types one is oil cooled and dry air type in oil cooled the transformer oil acts as a cooling medium and for the dry air type the air acts as a cooling medium and the next type is outdoor and outdoor and indoor transformers so the transformers which are designed to install at the outdoor are outdoor transformers and the transformer which are designed to install at the indoor are the 
indoor transformers now the next type you are having is the core type shell type and battery type transformers so this is based on the construction so the core type transformer has two limbs two vertical legs or limbs and two with two horizontal sections called yoke so this is basically the yoke the horizontal section are named as yoke and these are basically the two limbs so the magnetic the core the core is rectangular in shape and has a common magnetic circuit and uh, the cylindrical coils both hv and lv are placed on both of the limbs so this is your core transformer now the shell type transformer has a central limb with two outer limbs so let me draw it so the the cylindrical coils hv and lv are placed on the central limb so here your windings are placed this is the central limb and uh, it finds a double circuit so double magnetic circuit path is there in the shell type transformer now your berry type transformer the berry type transformer looks like the spokes of a v and uh, they are placed a tightly metal a tightly fitted metal sheet tanks are used for housing this berry type transformer so these are this looks like uh, spokes of a v where this is your high voltage winding and this is your low voltage winding this is hv and this is lv this is your berry type transformer so these are the types of transformer de uh, classified depending upon the purpose use and construction i hope you have understood well please subscribe the channel thank you